It is great to see the Bronze Bomber Deontay Wilder in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bronze Bomber himself as he takes on Tyson Fury this Saturday night. Deontay, it is great to see you. We've seen the videos, we've seen the photos. You look in the best shape of your life. How are you feeling as you head into Saturday night's colossal matchup? I feel great. I mean, I feel amazing. You know, like I said before, we done broke ourselves down. I'm uh, rejuvenated, reinvented, and I'm uh, ready to go. Saturday night is uh, it's gonna be a, a, a special night. I think the fans are, are in for a treat, as they always are when, when the Bronze Bombers step in the ring. How much did you miss this atmosphere? Because every time you fight, it's an electric atmosphere, it's wild, it's crazy, and you provide fireworks without a doubt. How much did you miss this? I missed it a lot, but uh, I think the time that we had off, you know, I think it was well needed as well. You know, to get the body back right, you know, to uh, spend a little bit more time with the family. Uh, the world went through something that we're all still going through together, and uh, I think that, that was a uh, time we all needed with the family as well. You know, we, we worked so hard, you know, with so many of us always busy around the world, and, uh, you know, uh, I think a lot of the things was well needed, you know, uh, and uh, here we are back again. You know, God has given us ability to, to come here again and do it one more time, you know, and uh, it's nothing like boxing and having the, uh, the fans in boxing, you know, some of the best fans in the world. Your first fight with Tyson Fury was December of 2018. This is nearly a three year process of when you guys have been fighting against one another and dealing with promotional entities, et cetera, et cetera, and you know, all the contract negotiations. How excited are you to finally close the chapter on this book in the sense that both you and him will move on after Saturday night? Oh my God, it's been, it's been a long time coming and um, I can't wait, you know, uh, it, it's gonna be a special moment for me. Uh, to get back in there and um, to show the people, to, re to, to reintroduce myself to the world, to show the people what I'm all about, you know. Uh, like I, again, I'm, I'm very excited. Every time it's the week of the fight, it's always the, the, the time where we're like, ah, it's the hardest time because we have to wait, you know. Sometimes we, we uh, get confused what, what day of the week it is, you know. We're, we're always rushing ahead of the day. I'm like, oh, it's just still Tuesday, oh, it's just still this and that, you know. But, uh, it's, 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 it's going to be great, man. I'm looking forward uh, to the night. I'm looking forward to the fans and the electrifying, the, 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 lecture that, the electricity that's going to be in the arena. You know, all that I miss and, uh, and uh, coming out, seeing all my fans and, uh, on this one special night. Part of that reintroduction is your new trainer, Malik Scott. I've known you for a long time, and I feel like this is the best spiritually and mentally that I've ever seen you over the course of over your 10 years as a prize fighter. Do you believe in that sentiment? Uh, most definitely. Uh, that's 100% correct. You know, uh, one thing about it, Ray, I, I have all my brothers around me. You know, it's something that I, I never had before. You know, they will come and go. At this point in time, they all is with me. They've been with me from uh, day one, from every, ever since the last album to now, nonstop. We've been always, we've been all together. And it's just been beautiful. When I tell people about that four letter word of love, we have that in this camp. And um, it's, it's no other place or better place to be than around people that really, really loves you and that has your back and they can look in your face and they say they love you and really, really mean it. Because there's a lot of people that say they love you, but they don't mean it. But when you know, when I have, when I have certain people around me and they tell me that, I don't have to worry, I have no doubts. And um, it's been a blessing to have so many uh, amazing men around me, amazing women around me, and uh, family all together. And uh, this is what makes this moment even more special because it's not for me, it's for everyone. What does two-time heavyweight champion of the world mean to you? Ah, uh, man, uh, I think, I'm a, I, think uh, I can say a lot right now, but I think once it happens, gonna, I'm gonna have a different feeling. So um, I'm waiting on that feeling to see what it really gonna mean and what I'm really gonna feel. I'm an energy being, so uh, I always react off of my energy of things. So once I receive that and have my hand raised in the, in the sky, and they say two-time heavyweight champion of the world, I can tell you after. My last question, I know you're big on visualization. I know you're big on manifesting things. On Saturday night, how you see the fight playing out with you and Tyson Fury in your third fight on pay-per-view? I see me beating them up and then knocking them out. You know, many things that, uh, there's many things that uh, that I visualized in, in, in the first fight, 
along with the second, you know, and um, I didn't execute game plan. Um, but this time around, it's just, it's just a different feeling, you know, all the way around, you know, just all the surrounding around me, the atmosphere, you know what I'm saying, the, just the energy in, a, as a whole, you know, and um, I'm looking forward to putting on a great performance come October the 9th, you know, and uh, those that's going to be in the arena, they're going to feel the, the, the electricity that's in there, and those that, that, that can't make it, don't be afraid to click that button on Fox Pay-Per-View, baby. You don't want to miss it. You better do it now, so says the Bronze Bomber. Now we're going to open up questions from the media real quick. Deontay, we got a couple of media. How are you doing? Um, how difficult of a decision was it for you to change trainers, being that Jay had been your head guy for so long? And, and can you tell us what went into that decision for you? It wasn't a difficult situation at all. Uh, I changed trainers soon after the fight. That's how easy it was. And, you know, the people that I have on my team, like I said, is filled with love. So. We don't, step, we don't step on each other's toes, and if it's certain decision making that needs to be made with all game players, we're able to be able to scramble around. And uh, what works for us, we allow it to work for us. And so it, it wasn't no egos. We don't have big egos in our camp. And um, that's a special thing about, about my camp and about my brotherhood that I have with my guys. That what don't fit with one person may fit with the other, and we still work together. If we disagree on something, but then that same day, we'll agree on it. You know, we'll come around, we'll make it work. And uh, that's what makes us so special. More questions. We have questions out front. Andres? Beyonce, uh, working with Malik Scott, is it about reinvention or is it about refining the tools that you already have? So what I'm asking is we're going to see a different version of you or just a better and more improved version of Deontay Wilder? That's, that's you know, I've always said I'm reinvented, I'm rejuvenated. You know, um, the thing about Malik, you know, he always, he can, it's like, like I've been saying, it's nothing that he really taught me. It's something that is mostly what he brought, can bring out of me that I've already had. Something that I can do on a consistent basis. You know, they say practice make, make you know, make perfect and make practice make permanent. So that's what we've been doing throughout this whole camps. And every time the fight been delayed, delayed, we had no problems. We sat back, we still smiled. You know, we still prayed together, ate together, and did everything together as a family. So, you know, over the time, that allowed us to even more come closer together and work on the game plan that lies at hand. And uh, here we are, October the 9th. You'll see what I'm talking about. Got another question out here in front? Hey, champ, it's Timmy Witherspoon. How you doing? I'm doing well. Okay. Um, um, I just wanted to ask you, do you think you have enough experience to, to, to fire and and um, try to get a new trainer. Um, I know you were searching for skills and try to make yourself better. Um, do you think like the management or somebody else should assist you in trying to find a, a somebody that, that can help you? I know you knew Malik, he was just one partner, right? Uh, not no, he's not never, really. Uh, okay, but I'm just saying, do you think you had enough experience to, 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 to find another, to get another trainer instead of, you need, maybe needed help? To, to find a change. You're saying you asked me, you asked me, was I knowledgeable enough to find someone to be uh, uh, compatible for me to? Uh, because to you change trainers. What I'm trying to say, you change trainers. Mm -hmm. So it, you you needed to learn some different skills. So mm -hmm. if you know, if you had to learn to learn skills, um, do you think other people should have assist you in picking the trainer? It wasn't nothing I learned. Malik can bring the best out of me. It's what I've already had. Okay. We're making it happen on a consistent basis. Okay. Well, Malik's been a part of your team for a long, long time. He's been around and, and really been instrumental with you as well. So it's not like you just went ahead and said, Malik, come on in. You're my lead trainer. He's been with you for a very long time. And the one thing about it that I think is helping you out is familiarity. He knows you. You guys know each other so well and you click together. And from an outsider's perspective, I'm seeing a chemistry and I'm seeing a love that I think will benefit you as you head into this third fight. Most well, definitely. And, you know, the thing about it with trainer and fighter, you need a chemistry. And uh, one thing that we have, we, we, we can communicate without speaking, with our mouths. We understand each other. And uh, what we have, a lot of trainers go a lifetime, you know, trying to build with a fighter. And we already have that coming in, so that's all. That, that right there already already put us ahead of a, a lot of things. So, um, you know, like I said, my favorite quote, my favorite saying is, "Once understood, don't have to be explained." And uh, October the night, everything will be under will, will be explained, and many people will understand what I'm saying.
Deontay, thank you so much for your time. Always a pleasure. The Bronze Bomber, ladies and gentlemen, Deontay Wilder, an electric fighter without a doubt with a knockout percentage of over 93%.